Hey guys, I'm back. Jay is here from The Painted Fool, and I'm here saying what's up. I think I'm going to make this a longer one because it's been such a while that I just feel like I just want to ramble, but I may not. I don't know. We'll just let's let it go. So welcome to The Painted Fool. For those who do not know me, uh, my name is Jay. I'm an artist. The love of the oil painting medium is my is my first love but i'm an artist in the acrylic medium and uh, music and different things and uh, i wanted to create this space originally for artists at first just sharing my challenges as an artist and my procrastinations and different things like that and how i'm working through it and, and the things that interfere or have been roadblocks in my process and then I decided to just open this up to a full range to everyone because there's no particular niche when it comes to challenges. We all have this, the exact same challenges and we all could use some insight or we can all use guides and, you know, how to's from others who we feel like we can, we're able to connect with, you know, so the Pain of Fool is a bonfire, and that's what I've decided to create this space. And it's not only a podcast, but it's also a visual, a visual aspect of it. I have a vlog on YouTube, The Pain of Fool, and uh, that's what this thing is. It's a movement. I've spent a lot of my time being so afraid to use my voice, and even now I'm working through that, being a lot more calmer in my speech and just kind of taking it taking it slower and working on elevating my speech at the right time and projecting my voice my voice is is the main thing that i'm being uh that's the area of work right now it's my voice so starting out with this podcast and, and then putting myself out there on youtube and and learning how to to be more charismatic and to to direct and to utilize my authority in my business all of that is a work in progress so i'm here willing that you all enjoy can take some of this some of this this this, this lesson that we all are learning in in all of our different paths but i just wanted to come here of course and just introduce myself before getting onto the topic and before i get onto the topic i wanted to just provide some updates um so we have ended the first season of the Journey in Four series. The boy who grew into the teen became the adult, and he has left the loving land of Amaria, and he is on his way to the highlands of Height as we speak. The great sea dragon has blew his ass all the way up to the sky, and as I'm talking to you now, he is still parting the clouds to land on the cedar wood tree in the highlands of height. That first, the, the, the series in itself, um, I guess I can, I can share more since, you know, we, we're at a, a good, we're at a, a good quarter of, of its completion so I can provide more insight. But the story has ties to my own life. And I won't get too too detailed into it. Of course, it has some emotional ties, obviously. But it speaks to the inability to understand my own personal challenges and my upbringing, of course. And having to face the things that at one point I thought just happened to me, for instance. Um, we all have these things in our lives where things quote unquote they happen to us and we just we don't necessarily take the time to understand them or we don't have at that time that it happens we don't have the mental our brain hasn't developed enough for us to see beyond our own our own perspective and to understand how these challenges have been made to better us and craft our own stories so we walk around sometimes with a lot of un just with a lot of issues we we bury issues and and we're acting out on so much because we haven't faced a lot of our fears 
and faced a lot of the traumas and things that has that has taken place in our past. So the Journey in Four series is about my life. And I wanted to, of course, I had to, of course, I enjoy telling stories. So it needed to be presented in a manner to where, you know, it's enjoyed. And it is actually, as I was writing it, it was it was very cathartic for me. But at the same time, I had so much fun doing it because I saw and I could hear and I can taste and touch everything that I was writing, everything. Now, it may not have it may not have come across that, of course, in the in the audiobook. And I'm crafting and I'm working on building my 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 soundscaping for this because I want this the next the next series to really have the full ambiance of the skies because he's going to be in the skies through the entire series the, the entire second season so i want to create that full ambiance and I'm, I'm trying to learn some different things and um create that that soundscape so yeah the, the journey in four series it's it's beautiful it's um i'm just creating my it, there's so much purpose and there's so much excitement behind it because I because I'm an artist and I'm learning how to see and how to develop my mind's eye. So much of what I struggled with in the past, such as being able to create things from my own imagination, it's not that much of a challenge right now. Still, there's still there's still some there's still a ways to go. However, being able to tell my own story and create it. From what I see, it, it's it's like nothing else. I can't I can't describe the 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 emotional satisfaction, the feelings, the, the all of it. It feels amazing to be able to do that. So, the journey in four series. Um, I am in love with it. It is definitely my child, and I understand so many others who have these projects, these passion projects. I, you know, I would call it who have children's books they're writing that I'm a part of or who are who's who's jumping onto these who's jumping or jump starting their own personal projects that they just have such an emotional connection to that they are spending their time truly learning everything there is to know about it I understand and I I'm a part of a lot of different people's projects and it excites me <laughs> despite my control in speech it really does i'm trying to keep myself together um so that's what's going on so far is just in my development of my journey in four series and the visuals and my own oil paintings and different things that i'm doing i don't want to reveal too much because stuff is still we're at the eighth of the ninth month well technically we're at the ninth of the tenth month of the pregnancy <laughs> like we're almost there so i'm keeping a lot of what i'm doing a little private at least until it's out in the open but i've been working on a lot of things um beneath and yeah it feels great i can't even deny it like it feels it feels great i wish i could just say it all but right now i'm just i'm learning how to just to not be so quick to publicize everything you know of course it's all with well intentions but that doesn't matter sometimes when things aren't ready to be revealed it's just not ready to be revealed you know what i mean so that's that's that um yeah so anything else Did I, i'm trying to think of anything else i mean yeah outside of outside of all my different creative things that i'm doing you know and i could go down a whole list i really could go down a whole list and it would take probably about 30 minutes just in itself because i would like to i would love to share these different things let's just get into yeah let's just get into the topic so i was scrolling social media and i saw a post with steve harvey it was like a, a clip of a woman saying that you know to, i'm going to sum it up really really briefly she um has a business and she notices that her friends are not supporting her business and she wants to know should she still keep them around and steve harvey said okay well they basically they're not your friends right and you know i scroll the comments just to see the average 
the average opinion just to see, you know, like where is this leaning more towards and, and why and, and different things like that. I never really I never really engage in the comments unless it's something funny like or it, it's it's like something of, of like a large camaraderie of just hilarity to me, like whether it's or, or if it's like a big television live TV show commentary. I love those type of things. But when it comes to like clashing i don't have time for that i just the energy is just way too much i'm not in the comment section arguing that's just ridiculous to, to me personally i'm not arguing and i'm not you're not going to see the veins busting out my neck and my my fingers and my wrist texting somebody that i will never meet in my life that makes no sense like <laughs> to me i'm good i'm good all the way on that so the average takeaway from those the comments were that they were they were on Steve's side and I had to think about my own life and I had to think about some of the things that I've shared and experienced and uh, I saw very few that mentioned you know well none of your friends are obligated to support you and I and I took a second and I read their comments and a lot of their comments like on the other the opposing side made a lot of sense so I took a moment and I said, okay, I know personally I've experienced this and I know so many right now that experience that are, that are actively experiencing this. Why? Because, you know, a lot of the people that not a lot of, the, I would say majority of the people that listen to me know me personally and we're around the same age, the same age range or, you know, and not or, but, and those, those individuals are working on their own mark and their own business and, and promoting their own projects and things. And they have friends and family who do not support them. And um, this is something that for I just wanted to share this with those because I, I don't want to message them one by one. And, and you know, but I feel like this is something that I, I think we need to we need to all take into consideration when it comes to not receiving support from family or friends. And, and, you know, and these are my thoughts on it. You know what I mean? So, um, my first, like my first, I would say my first reaction was like, you know, right. Although not everyone is obligated to support or promote you, it doesn't cost anything to to promote you <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't cost anything especially on social media it's it doesn't require that much for a person to to like to hit a share and to and to write a caption you know it doesn't cost anything there is no financial a financial cost to do any of that that type of promotion right and the average person when it comes to people saying that I, my friends and family don't support me it usually means the, the most common definition or the most common meaning behind that is that my friends and family don't support me financially or they don't share or promote me now that's the most common thing now i had to look back in my own life and i had to think about my own my own situation i had to say well has there ever been a case in my own personal life that my own personal friends or family has not supported me in any way, shape, or form. All of my friends and family have supported me in, in, in one way, shape, or form. And my current business ventures, has any of my friends or family supported me? Yes. Have they supported me in the manner that I wanted, the, wanted them to support me? Not all the time. Is that a reason for me to reevaluate my friendship with them or my relationship with them? No. Why? Because I had to do, I had to take some time and I had to really think about and assess before I reacted emotionally to this thing. I had to take a moment, you know, and I had to think about this. Like all of my friends, all of my friends I grew up with, we have a really tight association or friends that at this point are my siblings. It, it's, it's not, it's never been that, that serious to where this is worth me saying okay you know what our our association or our friendship our relationship is dead and i think so many of us have to really take a moment and just reflect just a little bit because it's so we're so quick to i think when it comes to um 
wanting financial support. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say this. Uh, I'm not going to say that it's, it's, it's greed attached or this like this obsession with money. But more often than not, there is this like I I need the exposure. I need the finances. And, you know, and although there's nothing wrong with that, especially if you, you have a cause and you genuinely are about that cause and you, you know, it's 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 a, it's a good thing. That's fine. However, we have to really think about the support that we have received from them already, because sometimes we don't consider that. We always want to jump to, well, they didn't buy my this. They didn't buy my that. They didn't like or they didn't share. But there's been so many other ways. And there are other ways to support your friends or family. For those on the end who may feel a little guilty when your your business friends are saying, well, you know, I don't I don't get the support. You know, there are ways that you may have provided support to them to where sometimes they it just it just it's just not registering right now because they just they want what they want in that moment. And that's OK. So I'm going to present this in both both on the receiving end and on the giving end, because I've I've done both and I've experienced both. And I've had my moments where I've been disgruntled for a moment and then I had to get myself back together and realize, like, I ha- I have a good team. I genuinely do. So. Like, keep in mind, there's there's many there's more than one way to provide support for a person, whether that's um, uh, emotional support, technical support, financial support or even like physical. And what I mean by physical, I mean, like by physically helping them move things and do this and that and the other for them, maybe like footwork. Um that's a bit more work physically labor intensive things, helping them move this or helping them do that or helping them this and helping them that or laying down their floors or whatever the case is, you know, then there's financial support, buying their products or um, investing in their investing in their business, financially investing in their business, technical support, whether that's you investing your time in building their website or working their social media or, you know, developing or making their social media accounts or again, sharing, liking, subscribing, different things like that. And then, of course, the emotional support when they feeling discouraged, you know, you're there, you're, you're doing things. There's different types of support for your friend in their business venture. There's it's it's not always financial support. It's not always going to be a like, share, subscribe, although I will say. Why won't you? <laughs> like uh, to, to legitimately to click a share and, and write a caption it's it really it's it's really not that serious it really isn't but then again you know some people aren't gifted well and being able to speak in a manner that might grab the attention that you know some people may not be able to do those things and understandable then you have other forms of support you know but the other the other issue that on on the business owners end is that sometimes or oftentimes really business owners fail to ask for support or they don't ask for the type of support they like they often come with this well you should automatically just know and i i kind of said this in my one of my previous episodes about um it, i think it was titled new moons and, tra- and um, transparency and peacocks and um in that it's being able to ask and it's you know it's not necessarily wrong to have an expectation of support from your from your friends and family but you still need to you still need to be clear and ask and and present that out there because not everyone's going to know not everyone's gifted or has the ability to promote in the manner that you would or 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 support in the manner that you would so you have to be clear and you have to ask and you have to say all right well you know okay can you support me in this manner can you come to this event or can you do this can you donate or can you make a catchy social media post can you do a product review for me can you whatever that thing is asking never that you would you can never go wrong with asking and if you ask this friend or your family member and they say no to all of it and they have never provided any support to you for this okay then you may want to reevaluate or and you know and may not want to associate them with your business and keep it moving it doesn't necessarily mean that 
your business is going to thrive off of or you you're, you need your friends or family to promote you. That's not the case. If your product or whatever it is is good enough, you're never going to need them. It is what it is. Like that's the other part that that owners must understand that it's it's not sometimes it, it's it's okay. You don't have to you don't have to bank on oh you know you didn't help me out you didn't support me meanwhile you're blooming and you're blossoming and you're and you're blowing up but you're hung up on the fact that Susie or your cousin John didn't support you or they didn't promote you and that's it's 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 you know if your thing is good enough don't worry about that you know your friends they're not going to be those type of financial investors or different things again your friends may help you in other ways and um we have to we have to remember that you know, I've seen I remember seeing one of the comments, um, someone who who disagreed with with Steve Harvey in the comments said something like, um, ah, darn, I wish I, I wish I screenshot it. But basically, I simply like I don't I just don't want to buy your products. I don't support I don't use or support these products. So just because you sell cookies and your cookies have dairy in them or whatever the case is. I'm not going to support them. I'm not going to buy them because they go against my morals or they go against my ethics. I'm not going to buy them. And then someone came with a rebuttal and was like, well, you could simply buy them and give them to someone, gift them to someone who, who would want them, you know? And I was like, okay, yeah, that's, that's pretty true. And then the follow-up argument was, I guess, to be, to appear more, <laughs> to be more intellectually articulate i guess it was kind of like well again purchasing that does not reflect like who i am or it goes against my integrity or whatever the case is you know so that was like their way of that was like their their crafty excuse for just not feeling the need to support them financially you know but i i just thought it was interesting and for for my business owners who feel that way Again, I encourage you to ask. You have to ask for support. Yes, I know so many, so many business owners do ask. Please like, share, subscribe. Please do this. Please do that. But when it comes to those who you expect to just automatically know you, you don't ask. You don't say, you know what? Hey, hey, uh, hey, Kyle, can you, can you, um, can you, I'll, I'll even write the post. I'll even create this caption. Can you copy this caption, paste it, and then share my post? Can you do this for me? And you know, half the time your friends are down enough to do that for you. It's just a matter of like some friends just, again, some people just aren't that good with words. They might be able to be there for you emotionally. They may be able to be there for you financially. They may be able to show up and help you build the house for your business. They may help you to be able to, to build this or help you design your marketing material, whatever it is, but they may not be able to support you in the way that you may want them, or you may just forget. Sometimes we forget that these same friends who we claim don't support us, we, we swear they haven't supported us a day in our lives and, and they have in different ways. And although you would argue and say, well, this is not related remotely to what I need right now, don't completely write them off. It's just that's just that just may not be the relationship and, and that that connection that you may have together that it just may stop at the business. And that's OK. Like, it's OK, you know, and to accept that and to not get so up in your feelings about it, you know, you'll be all right. But. Think about some of the most. Like, think about some of the most important periods of your life when these friends or family came through for you. And remind yourself like, okay, yeah, it was, it was actually that, that was more important to me then. And I needed that then, you know, my friends will, my family will come through for me. They definitely will. We tend to, again, like I said, we tend to just, just assume the worst or we may be so entitled and, and we may try to be so calculated and, and just jump to assumptions. And it's like, no, sometimes the only thing that's preventing, preventing that help that you need is asking for it. If you just ask without having to be so passive aggressive on social media, because, you know, I you, the reason why I'm bringing this up, because I see this. The other reason why I'm bringing this up is because I see a lot of this on social media where there's so much passive aggression about people coming up 
and all those who didn't support you and yada 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 and all these different things that are just either is put to me it's reflective of of poor poor associations and, and poor decision making you know or it's just you really might need to just take a moment and reflect on are you really asking for the help that you're claiming you're not getting you know we supposed to just jump to your passive aggression and just jump to read your mind and then just assist you now i've dealt with people like that who just felt like i'm supposed to read their mind and just come through because they choose to make themselves available for me all the time i'm supposed to just drop everything and do this particular thing even when i am physically unable to do it i'm supposed to abandon my obligations and it's one thing if i were asked to do it but oftentimes what's in these these relationships have have long long since been severed and this was something i had to drop and, and the fisherman was was one of those relationships i was speaking of painting i was talking about um but there was this just these these weird assumptions and things and this mind reading and these mind games and things that i just did not know that i was supposed to do at that time and because help was not directly asked of me there was just strange behavior of now i'm venge I'm, I'm feeling a vengeance against you and i need to get you back and all these different things and then when i finally understand why it was simply because that person did not seek and ask for what they needed they presented a problem and in the position of i'm just venting to you but didn't really communicate that they needed the help and they were asking of the help of me if that makes sense so i was held to a to a responsibility that i did not even know i was being held to an obligation that i didn't know that i was being held to because that person didn't ask me for my help it was just the assumption of just venting you, you know what i mean like things like that it, all the way down to just a simple problem i've dealt with it and again like i said i've been on the on the other end of the owner getting in my feelings like you know no one has done this for me no one has and i'm just like wait a minute yes 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 they have they may not have they may not have come through in this way but i know some friends of mine that have during the beginning of my artistic development especially as i became as i'm as i as i became more more public with my artwork i a friend of mine actually came to my for instance a friend of mine came to my art show stayed with me the entire night while i sold artwork while I was like stayed with stayed by my side and I know they were tired <laughs> because you know these things go on for a while and they stayed and they stayed with me and I sold a painting and they were really happy for me and it was like it was one of the most fulfilling experiences of my life because I sold a painting in person to a stranger who you know in person because I, I sold paintings online I sell my artwork online more than in person um but yeah, it's sold by person. They they did it, and 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 I and just it just became more people began to show up for me, like people I didn't even know showed up for me, and um, yeah, the people who I wanted to show up and didn't after a while it didn't matter because I was getting so much more attraction from different from different people who just wanted to meet me and get to know me and and just all that eventually didn't matter, but there was a period when I did feel a little like oh like. Where are the people that I, I grew up, you know, where are the people that I did, where do they go? Where, why aren't they coming out and why aren't they, why are you just texting me? You're just, you're so happy for me, but you're not, you're not showing up. Like, do I have to, I shouldn't have to ask you and all those different thoughts come. They do, you know, but I eventually grew up out of that mindset and I just began to get over myself and ask, you know, and I'm one of those people who through my giving, sometimes I've given to a degree to where I've overextended myself and I've overgiven to where not listening to, to elders and not listening to, to those who provided me counsel to, to stop being so generous that um, it, it did cost me a lot of energy and it cost me of my emotions in the long run. But I, you know, in all of my giving and giving and giving, I then learned to that it, I then learned to just be okay with asking for 
in my giving to someone who may need me for something, say for instance, I'm giving like a, um, a discounted rate for something or whatever the case was, but not to feel wrong for asking for something in return, not to feel wrong for saying, okay, well, if I'm hooking you up in this way, can you cook me something or can you do this? Can you shout me out? Um, you know, can you do this? You know, and, and, and my request, you know, they, they aren't they're never a major request. They're, honestly, they're just really something small, like, you know, bring me some or I like this kind of candy or whatever the case is. Give me this, you know, so, you know, I don't I don't require that you part the Red Seas for me because I just kind of get I, I just get rewarded and my I just get good fortune and, and just I, it just happens for me. And that's not to to sound in any way, shape or form arrogant, but. I'm aware that it just happens like that for me because of it just does. Um, but I also, again, like I said, I became less fearful to ask people like, hey, you know, I'm cutting out my time for you, although I don't have to. I'm choosing to because I genuinely love to give. However, can you scramble me some eggs? <laughs> like, you know, you got, you know, I have a. Not to reveal too much, because I know some people who are like, you know, you shouldn't be eating that. I have some, I have favorite candies. And um, I'd ask for a favorite candy. I asked, you know, can you hook me up with this? Can you give me this? Like, give me this or, you know, or, you know, pay me something, whatever it is. It don't have to be much. I just want to get, get something from the store. Give me five bucks. You know, it's never something crazy out of, and out of this world. You know what I mean? When I ask for things. But again, I've been told to just chill out with overextending and overgiving because, you know, Sometimes it, it does, you will exhaust yourself. But not asking is worse. Not asking and having these entitled expectations for a return is actually worse than asking for something and not getting anything. You know what I mean? Because at least you have the answers. <laughs> like, at least you know. Um, but I just wanted to say that, you know, for those business owners who may feel a little upset that, you know, your friends and family aren't supporting you, ha number one, just always ask yourself, have you even asked? You know, sometimes we have relationships with people who don't necessarily even understand business and how and what that entails, the, the stress and and how much, you know, assistance would really, really help us out. We don't ask for anything. We just assume someone's supposed to just come through and just, oh, I'm, I'll come through and I'll help you out and I'll, I'll, you know, teach you about search engine optimization or i'll teach you about css or i'll teach you about different codes and i'll teach you about how to work at the f or how to teach you about the f-stop of a camera or lower iso or i'll teach you how to you know make this meal or whatever the case is we just assume someone's going to just jump through and do that because that's that just may be how we are we just come kind of just jump and give or we may just need help but always ask yourself did i even ask for help you know, and if you didn't, then OK, well, that's something you need to look look at. And if you did ask for help and they just didn't come through or they genuinely told you, no, I'm not going to support you in this way. But I will support you in that way. OK, then you can decide what you want to do. If that's not good enough for you, then OK, whatever. Take it however you take it and move on. But we need to be more clear for those who are closer to us. And for those who are the friends of business owners, it doesn't it doesn't either. It doesn't even hurt for you to ask them, do you need anything? How can I help you? Is there anything that you need? What can I do for you? Because trust me, that's that will make your friend or your family member feel so much more at ease if you actually ask them, not just say, let me know what you need, because sometimes that term is thrown out. And it's just a like, oh, if you need anything, let me know. And you know, you really can't provide anything, let you know. It doesn't hurt to say, hey, you know, do you need something? Do you need me to promote you? Do you need me to, do you, is there something that you need? Do you need me to like, you, you ask them what they need so that, you know, that may prompt them to tell you what they need and consider other ways to support them, find ways to support them. It just, you know, and if you, don't want to support their business then you don't necessarily have to support their business and your friend can be okay with that or not okay with it sometimes they just don't support your business if they feel as though you're 
idea is just trash it, it maybe it is and maybe they still want to continue to keep going and and developing their 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 idea and and they want to keep going but your friend says no i'm not going to support that okay you know but this sense of like guilting people to support you situation i i've never physically i've never outright said anything but i felt it a lot and it took it took some time for me to get through that and especially after realizing that those who i even never asked to support me who never did and i'm receiving support from from total strangers it goes to show that you know if you continue to to look at it from the mindset of what i'm doing can attract help <laughs> like if you look at it, if you see beyond this small this small linear not linear but this small like tight very restricted lens of like oh i can only i can only get support only if then that's just you will be missing out on so many other people and so many other things that could come through for you but don't get so wrapped up in feeling like you only need your friends or family to support you because that's not the case i'm looking at it in my own life areas that i expected friends and family to help me out and they did not i genuinely have someone came out of the blue and just put me on and that's just what it is it's not always going to happen the way that you fantasize for it to happen your support may not always come to you in that manner but again it never hurts to ask and i'm one person who's learned to ask ask for help just ask for help you know if you you do what you can do and then ask for help you know cross your eye cross your t's dot your eyes do your research, ask for help, and present what you need so that they're clear on helping you. And that's it. So, you know, that whole, that whole, you know, hopefully that can, can kind of like quell a lot of that passive aggression that I see on social media amongst friends and family and, and these different things. I, it's just because I, I can almost guarantee you a lot of it is a result of people just not asking for help. It's, that's just what it boils down to. So many people just have these expectations that people are mind readers and friends and family are mind readers. And yes, I mean, naturally, if if we, if we however we define friends, I would assume that in that definition would be your instant running to your support as a friend. That would kind of outline that that little clause, quote unquote, of a friendship. You know, you, you support each other. You know, but then there's, I guess we we have we still have to understand to to be adults and communicate that's the other piece so um yeah i i just felt that thing there and i just reading the comments I, again sometimes i do read social media comments i don't engage in a, a, a couple of them because again i don't have the patience for that arguing back and forth and i'll be damned if i'm sitting across on my bed getting carpal tunnel over a possible bot you tripping like i'm good oh, i'm good on all of that i'm not even remote i don't even i don't argue period now back when i was probably like 23 i like to you know do a little back and forth but now you don't even you don't even know at the slightest the slightest moment or the slightest rising of of that type of conflict of a of a banter i'm already three feet away from me i'm already somewhere i just i'm not that guy like i never engage i just don't i'm not that guy that's going to argue on social media back and forth you will never you will never catch that <laughs> from me i just i've never been that guy i don't run the conflict at all unless it's internal conflict <laughs> that i need to uh, develop myself i ain't arguing with you it is what it is so um yeah i'm willing that 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 really helps you because we we do get upset and i and i think that's that's what i felt probably from yeah obviously reading that com reading the, that commentary but i do feel that amongst a lot of our family members and our friends that we just feel like nobody supports me nobody so and it's just like well consider all those who have you know consider the different ways that you receive that support you you have trust and believe someone has com has come through for you and if and it wasn't your friends or family did you ask them and if you didn't ask them then you know that should bring your anger from a 10 down to about a 3 you know, unless y'all have this agreement to where like, you know, well, I came to you and not, you didn't have to ask me. Well, that's you. You're different. You have a different charge. Your heart's a little different. 
That doesn't mean that your friend's heart is any worse or better than yours, but they're just, they just operate different. Sometimes they need commands. Some people genuinely need commands and they need you to tell them what they need. So, um, yeah, but that's all. I'm probably going to bring this, you know, share this in a video format because some, some of us enjoy the videos. Although I will say that I get more listens than video plays. But I, I know the YouTube thing takes some time to develop a following and a subscriber count and stuff like that. So I'm going to continue with the videos and the visuals. Um, but yeah, I have well over 500 plays on my on this. And this has only been two months. Yeah, it's been two months of 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 my experience of my podcasting through Anchor. And by the way, I love Anchor. Anchor has made my life so much more easier. This podcasting platform, like I, I record it, I just throw it up in there and they just distribute my podcast across all these platforms and it just, it just makes my life easier. So if you want to get into podcasting, I would definitely, definitely, definitely jump onto Anchor FM and uh, yeah. Now I use different things to kind of like master my sound. I use like external software to do that and then i add it into anchor but anchor does the distributing it makes it easier for me and yeah i'm it just i just love every last bit of it so yeah i have more things that i would love to show i'm working on and mm, i've been so much more busier you know i've gotten another job and it's a job in the field that i that you know it's in my field it's in my field of artwork so my schedule is, is adjusting it's shifting and uh, yeah, so there's just been so much that has changed and it's and it's consistently changing for the better. Stuff is really becoming more tailored and it's actually defining me as an artist. Like a lot of what what's happening in my life that I haven't shared all, all, all in its entirety is it's literally shaping me as an artist. That's it. That's what's happening. I'm being shaped as a as an artist 100 percent. All of my work is strictly art from where it wasn't i was in the corporate world and i was you know i had to do this and that and this and the other but now like my world is is legitimately becoming art 100 percent. so that's all i'll say and that's what's been going on with me but i just wanted to pop on here again and just say i missed you guys and um yeah oh you know what let me just talk about something else since i just figured why not this is for the techies, for the for the, the the Android iPhone people. You know, if you you're not into this, you can stop right here. And um, I love you all and enjoy. <laughs> but for the rest of us who enjoy the tech conversations and the iPhone and the Android and the stuff. Or maybe I should make this a separate. Should I make this a separate podcast? Now, nah. you know what? I might. I do, I do a separate one. I do a separate podcast about like my experience with Apple and, and, and Android or Apple and sp particularly with Samsung. Um, yeah, I might just do that, make a separate podcast about that one because I, I get, I still want, I just want to put all of myself in my different interests <laughs> out there. But uh, yeah, I think this is, this is enough for the night. I'm just going to sit in this darkness for a little bit. I have my little, well, I have my one little can, well, I have two candles lit right now. And uh, I have a nice warm cup of Everclear. I'm about to sip. I'm joking. No, it's, um, it's a nice warm beverage to assist me towards sleeping. It's chamomile tea. <laughs> I'm just trying to be silly. But it's chamomile tea. And I'm going to sip some of that and uh, do some cleaning up and then take it down for the night and attack my day like a ghostbuster so until next time guys i love you all peace out peace in and um look out for me in my next youtube video coming soon all right